everyone, Amy here, and today we are going to learn how to create a calculated column in Microsoft Lists. We are going to learn how to calculate the first date of the month as well as the last date of the month. So with that being said, let's nerd out. All right, so here we are at Amy's Animal Barn and Petco, and we have this list of pet store suppliers. And the first thing that we are going to do is add a new column. And this is going to be a calculated column. So we are going to select see all column types and then click next. And we are just going to call this today. And then we are going to select calculated. And that's going to pop up this formula bar here. And we're simply just going to type today, opening bracket and closing bracket. Now, down here we have some additional options and because this is going to be a date, I'm going to select the date and time and I'm quite happy with doing this as date only. Um, you do also have the option for date and time, so that would just be up to you. So we're going to scroll on down and click OK. All right, look at that. We have the today column in there and that is calculating today's date. Now there is something very important that I need to mention here because this formula unfortunately does not auto update. So that means tomorrow when I open this, it is still going to show the date is January 11th. So that is something to be mindful of when you are working in Microsoft lists and using that today function. Now, if you tomorrow or any other day in the future, if you open up your supplier and edit anything within that row, then that today formula will update, but it doesn't just update on its own. So it's a bit of a glitch in my opinion with Microsoft lists. Maybe Copilot will help us with that. There is a workaround that you can use Power Automate for, uh, but for the purpose of this video, we are just going to stay focused and move on to the next items. All right, so now that we have that today formula in there, we are going to add a second column. And this column is also going to be a calculated column and it is going to calculate a date based on the month showing in the today column and we want it to show the first day. So we are going to head on over to see all column types once again and we are going to go first date. And once again, we are going to select calculated and that formula bar is going to populate. We are going to go equals date and then opening bracket and year. And now we are going to add another opening bracket and just double click today to pop that in there. We are going to close out the year variable and add a comma. And then we are going to now add the month variable. And so similar to the year, we are going to add a opening bracket and then just double click today to pop that in there. And once again, a closing bracket. For the day variable, because we are going to be doing the first day, all that we need to do is just press one. And then we can add a closing bracket to close out our formula. So once again, I'm going to select that date and time. That just ensures that the date that's going to be in here can be used in other formulas. So it's super helpful. And we are going to keep this as date only. That is going to be your personal preference. So let's just head on down and click OK. All right, so now we have that first date column working appropriately. See here that it's pulling the month, which is January from the day column and making it show or display as the first day of the month. So now we are showing January 1st, 24. The next column that we are going to add is going to show us the last day of the month. So if you were, for example, you know, generating something for invoices and you wanted the due date to be the last day of the month, then that's when this would be appropriate or something similar. Once again, we are going to head on down to see all column types. You guessed it. And we are going to add last day. Yep, you guessed it. We are adding another calculated column. And this time, what I'm going to do is literally just copy and paste that first day function into the formula area. And now what we are going to do is kind of sneaky. Uh, we are literally in the month variable here. We've got month and then today. 
And we are going to, after that bracket and before the, the comma, so before the day variable, we're literally just going to go plus one. So now what that is doing is it's adding a month. And so now we are going to be showing February 1st. But we don't want to show February 1st. We want to show the last day of January. So now what we're going to do is simply go minus one. Right? So first day of February, subtract a day. Now we're going to be on that last day of January. So once again, we're going to hit that date and time. You know what options you have there. And we're going to click OK. Whoop, whoop. All right. So that's super cool. We can see now that January 31st is populating in there just like that. All right. So that wraps up this video. And I do hope that I've helped you discover your inner nerd today. If you did find this video helpful, then please do give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so that you can get notifications on all of my new content. All right, we'll catch you next time.